the Houston Astros need to be investigated by Major League Baseball again, not for cheating, but for their ability to draft, scout, and develop prospects. We've talked about the Braves and the Dodgers before on this channel, but the Astros draft and scout better than everyone else, and no one talks about it. During the early part of the last decade, the Houston Astros went through one of the biggest rebuilds in recent memory and lost 100 games or more in three consecutive seasons. The rebuild lasted over the span of five years, from 2010 to 2015, and the Astros went all in on it, and it's paid off immensely. They committed to embarrassment in the short term, knowing long term, if done properly, it would pay off for years and years to come, and the organization was right. The Astros have made the playoffs six of the last seven years, including three World Series appearances, one World Series championship, and are on the verge of their fifth AL West division crown in that span. Since the start of the 2018 season, the Astros had the second most wins in baseball, and it doesn't look like this team will be going anywhere soon with the core they have in place. Now in 2022, the team is as dangerous as ever and will likely capture their fourth 100-win season in the last seven years, and they got there because of their draft picks and international signings. The infield is all homegrown talent and has been the backbone of their playoff teams for years. Yuli Gurriel was an international free agent signing in 2016. Jose Altuve was an international free agent signing in 2007. Alex Bregman was a first round pick in 2015. And Jeremy Pena was their third round pick in 2018 and is a newcomer in the group. The starting rotation, which has been the best in Major League Baseball this season, is also filled with draft picks and international signings with the exception of Justin Verlander. Framber Valdez, Luis Garcia, Christian Javier, and Jose Urquidy were all international free agent signings, and Lance McCullers Jr. was a first round pick in 2012. The crazy thing about that, most of those guys weren't top international prospects. Framber Valdez signed with the Astros for a $10,000 signing bonus, and Luis Garcia for $20,000, both at 21 years old, which is much older than guys who usually sign at 16. The infield is homegrown, the rotation is homegrown, and the outfield follows suit. Chaz McCormick was a 21st round pick in 2017, Kyle Tucker was the Astros' first round pick in 2015, and then of course, Jordan Alvarez, who the team didn't sign, but acquired in 2016 as an unknown prospect across the league. Even in recent years, when the Astros were successful, they've had tons of star homegrown talent that left, but have managed to keep their success without them. George Springer was a first round pick in 2011 and was a three time All Star in seven years with Houston. Carlos Gray was the number one overall pick in 2012 and a two time All Star and left for Minnesota last offseason. They aren't just drafting well, but developing too, and their success over the years is the root of their ability to do so. Just look what they've done with Justin Verlander, who has shown regression in his later years with Detroit and has rejuvenated himself with Houston and could potentially win his second Cy Young in four seasons with the club. Or how about a guy like Garrett Cole, who turned into the best pitcher in baseball in his two years with Houston, following his trade from Pittsburgh, and hasn't had the same success with the Yankees. Out of 35 players to appear for the Astros this season, 18 have been drafted or signed internationally, and most of them are key contributors. Yeah, they signed and acquired pieces, but every team becomes great through homegrown talent and a mix of the right pieces through free agency and trade. The reality is, the Houston Astros will always have a bad reputation by fans for their cheating scandal, and rightfully so. Whether you have forgiven them or not, the organization though is as well ran as anybody across Major League Baseball. They are by far the best team in the American League this season, and it wouldn't surprise me at all if they go back to the Fall Classic once again.